Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're gonna be taking a look at Windows 10 and how we can create a list of all the programs that are installed on that system. Now this may come in useful if you're a PC repair tech and you just wanna get a list of all the programs that are installed on there. So when you format the system, you can go ahead and install all those programs again. Very simple and easy to do. So let me just show you how to do that. And I'm gonna show you two ways of doing this. We're gonna be using a piece of software called CCleaner and also we're gonna be using PowerShell. So inside uh, Windows 10 here, if we uh, right click on the start button here, we can open up a command prompt and access um, a PowerShell from here if you wanted to. So you just type PowerShell and this will allow you to open up a PowerShell, as you can see here, PS, and that's the PowerShell. Now if you wanted to open PowerShell directly, all you need to do is come to the search box here and type PowerShell. Just like so now you can see here at the top we just right click on this and run this as administrator say yes to the user account control and this will open up the powershell window now you should see administrator up here now what we need to do is type in our command now this is a big hefty command uh, so i'm going to be using the paste feature and i will put these commands in the description for you so if i just uh, right click and paste that into there like so you can see we have the command here and it's a big long command. Now I don't have many programs on here uh, because this is a virtual machine. You will have a big list. So when I push enter here, you'll see we have Google Chrome and Disk Drill, just two programs on this machine. So if you had loads of programs, you'd have a long list. But what happens if you wanna back up that list and create a list? Well, you'll need another command. You'll need to put in a different command for that. So let me just do that for you right now. Now the next command we're going to use varies from the first one by adding a path and we're going to put that path to go into our documents area and we're going to call it programs-list. So let me just paste that in. Now you can see here the dash auto size has now got a path on the end of it. C colon backslash users backslash brightech backslash documents and then there's the name of the list programs-list.txt. If I push that, push enter, and now we can close this off and go to our documents area. You will see it's now created a list inside here and you can see there's just two programs in here. Yours will be a long list of programs that you have installed. Very useful if you are a PC repair tech and you're formatting the system, as I said, and you'll have a list of all the programs just to reinstall. Very easy to do. Now you can also do this a second way, which I'm gonna show you, which is using CCleaner. So let me just open up CCleaner. Now to do this in CCleaner, you just come down to the tools area and in the uninstall tab here, you'll see a long list of programs and also you'll see a list of other stuff. Okay, now this is going to back up all of this list here. So there's a big long list there. Some of this stuff you may not need, but this is a way that you could do it. Now the way you could back up this list is by hit save to text file. And it's going to call this install. And we're going to just save that into our documents area. Go back to our documents area. And you can see we now have an install list. And there you go. And you can see a long list of stuff here. Now, most of this stuff you won't need, uh, like the bottom stuff here, you just need uh, the Google and the disk drill. But as you can see, if you want a more precise list, then the PowerShell is the way to go. Anyway, that's how you do it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Also, if you've got any problems with your computers or any video requests or anything like that, then you can head over to my forums and post up over there, it's free to join. And also, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, the information's on the screen. Have a great weekend, guys, and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.